everybody and welcome to Parks Rose Drew here and we're gonna do a quick update on the Pixar Pals parking lot. Let's do this thing. But first things first, let's look at it a little earlier on today to see the difference. So here's a look at the pedestrian bridge, which is all one piece. I still don't get how they put this in, but that is still being attached on both sides to the ground, as well as the pathway on the new parking structure right here. I do find the blue lights pretty interesting. I'm wondering what those are actually for. Um, maybe it's just some theming, but uh, the railways on the sides are still kind of covered up by some stuff right now with the, with the walkway, but it's insane how big this is. So here's a look at really something interesting. A Pixar ball has been lowered in. It looks like it's gonna be a fountain feature. Really kind of hard to see from where I'm at. I'm gonna try and get another angle of it. Would you look at that? That is just a statue, not a fountain like I was saying, but that's pretty cool. Matches with the Pixar. Oh my gosh, I actually just realized that the entire structure is lit up in different colors inside. That's fantastic. So in addition to the new statue of the Pixar ball, you can now see that these LED screens right here I'll say welcome across them. Those are gonna be really cool to see in action, as well as all the lights for the different structures is really kind of cool, as well as some of the escalators are lit up as well. This is really looking nice, I must say that. Here's a look at the parking structure at night. The welcome signs have now turned purple, and you can see the Pixar ball from up here. So that is actually a new find. We did not see that earlier. So here you can see the lights in use to show you how it is with the new overhang. These lights actually indicate whether you can park in these spots or not. So just to let you know, the green of course means you can park here and the red is the opposite. It means occupied. So also, just to let you guys know, there is an indicator for how many spaces there are per row at nighttime and probably at the daytime too, but it's cool to see it right now. It's kind of shaky, car. sorry, I'm kind of sticking it out of my car right now, but it's really cool to see, oh, there's 71 spaces in this row. So thanks for tuning in for this quick little update. I know it's really quick, but a lot changed today and it's looking fantastic at night. I will say that firsthand. But if you haven't, make sure to subscribe. And of course, as always, we'll see you on the next ride.